Hey guys, this is Alex from Paintball 11 Info, and today I just want to quickly go over my scenario setup I have in place for Day of the Rangers. For those of you who are not familiar, Day of the Rangers is a big game at Hell Survivors uh, in Pinckney, Michigan. It's based off of Black Hawk Down and um, the battle between U.S. and the Pirates. It was supposed to be a quick mission and it went into like a two day battle or something like that. It's a 20 hour scenario game. And this is going to be what I use for nighttime play. Uh, I just want to go basically a little bit of modifications. I did do it. Uh, here's my pods. I'll explain these in a little bit. I just want to kind of show it off. Uh, maybe give you guys some tips if you guys want to modify a gun. This is a uh, fast F1 Illustrator. It was made in the early to mid 90s. So it is a pretty old gun. Uh, you see we have the 6845 Ninja Air uh, Grey Ghost tank, and it's got a mid pressure set to it. We have a hollow body grip on this, so I filled it with uh, a filler. It's called the Good Stuff. Uh, it's basically a spray foam and it expands. This basically fills up this bottom grip right here with foam, and it lets the sound waves not bounce off, but actually reflect. So it does pretty much silence this down. Uh, I like this gun, especially for night play. Because it's gonna be durable, it's not gonna. I'm not gonna care if it gets scratched or something happens to it. Also, it's got this rear velocity adjuster, uh, and because it's so old, it won't get above maybe 250, which is ideal for night play because it has to be under 240 or something like that. Um, so I'm not gonna have to worry about Allen keys. I just easy twist. I've done some modifications. Uh, obviously, the good stuff. I just went over that, but um, I've also modified the lid because it is a vert free uh, vert feed and I didn't have a plastic elbow at the time and uh, the way it's set up the plastic elbow doesn't really work that well and I didn't want the hopper sticking out the side in case I pop out the uh, right side of uh, the hopper sticking out there so what I did is uh, because I probably won't be shooting much uh, in nighttime anyways I put a uh, pipe cleaner and this basically works as a lid before I had a uh, piece of foam apologize for beating a little bit behind. Uh, where'd it go? Well, anyways, uh, can't seem to find it. It was a uh, piece of foam and basically it acted as a speed feed, but because it was so tight, it didn't really work well and I decided to replace that. Because this game, uh, gun will be used for night flight only, uh, I decided to put a flashlight on it. Before I had this in hockey taped in place, and you know what? It looked fine, but it really wasn't the best looking. And uh, I want my guns and gear to look uh, the best they can. So I took uh, two, four, six, eight, ten O rings, and uh, you can get these for about six bucks for a hundred of them on eBay. And basically, I uh, just took normal tank O rings, stretched them out over the barrel, over the mag light. As you see, to turn the mag light on, it holds it nice in place for nighttime play. Um, probably won't even be using a flashlight for nighttime play because basically gives away your position but uh, in the more open areas where they have spotlights it's always good to have uh, this gun is made by fast in the early to mid 90's uh, it's a fairly old gun I think I already went over this but uh, let's get into the pots these are my contour uh, blood glucose testing for my diabetes uh, and because this holds three rounds, uh, and these actually hold three rounds too. Basically, I took them. I only have two in this one, though. It does fit three. Um, so I can use these as my pods, stick them in my pocket, or make a special pod belt for them. But basically, how I'm going to load it is just lift that lid up, pop the pod, and it loads right in. Now, also, if I feel like I need more paint, this uh, system, instead of having the speed feed, will just sit right on it. So I can have up to six paintballs at a time and then replace this. Or I can do three. Um, it's ideal because I probably won't be shooting much at nighttime play, anyways. I uh, really want to conserve your fire. And it'll be the end of the day. My e tech will probably run through it all. So this is the scenario big game setup. And I just want to show you guys this real quick. Uh, 99, 99 subscribers, so uh, let's keep that up. 
I'll see if we can get to 100 by the end of the week, and today is Wednesday. So, uh, let's see if we can do that. So, thank you for watching. This is Paintball101Info. Please subscribe.